Thousands of people from all over the world are rallying behind a New Jersey mom fighting an aggressive form of ALS. In the last few months, she's lost her ability to walk and talk. Doctors say one drug is her last hope, but she's being denied the opportunity to take it, and time is running out. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports from Union County. Years after Lisa Stockman Moriello participated in the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, she started losing her breath easily. Soon learning in January, she is one of 15% of ALS patients with a rare genetic mutation. Some people have three to five years before they lose the functionality, and she's losing it over weeks. After helping others for so long, she now has to lean on her husband and sons ages 14 to 22 for basic tasks. She couldn't sign our taxes last week, and now just walking out here for the interview, she lost her balance. Two months ago, she was doing uh, mother-son dances like you would normally do at a wedding. We recorded those for the boys' weddings. The 51-year-old's cognition is intact, and after a career doing communications for pharma companies, now her life-saving pleas to one, Biogen, have been rejected five times. The company's in phase three clinical trials of the medicine Toferson. This is the best hope we feel. But she was diagnosed one week after enrollment closed. Her doctor, the director of Columbia's world-renowned Eleanor and Lou Gehrig ALS Center, is asking Biogen to give Lisa the treatment immediately. The FDA's expanded access program provides the option to help patients in serious condition with no alternative. More than 100,000 people have signed a petition of support. And recently, the company said after the trial in July, patients like Lisa can get Toferson. An interfaith coalition is praying she makes it to her July 15th birthday. Uh, we're getting prayer quilts and uh, rosary beads and it's been amazing. Biogen declined our multiple requests for an on-camera interview. In a statement, the company said it is not fair to ask study participants to continue to receive placebo while access is offered to others. That's an excuse. There isn't a single patient out there with ALS that I believe would deny uh, the use of it. Former FDA Associate Commissioner Peter Pitts adds her data would not be included in the FDA's final review, but another expert speculates the company doesn't want to risk negative publicity if it fails. And they may not be ready to set the actual uh, cost or, or price. The family isn't giving up hope, but is already fundraising to establish a health communications program at Lisa's alma mater, UNC. Kind of making more leases. The world would be better with more leases. In Summit, New Jersey, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. The FDA says that there are thousands of instances where companies have offered the experimental drug to patients before the trial ends. One bill in Congress would help drug companies cover the cost of offering experimental drugs.